right, Mr. Lobster. Let's take a look at that antenna. It's all right. This won't hurt. All done. Ooh, thanks, Doc. Bye. Cheerio. Ah, my last patient of the day. Peso, come in, Peso. Captain, is something wrong? There's no time to explain. Head down to the launch bay now. Who? <laughs> What's going on, Tweak? I don't know, but the captain sounds real worried. Here he comes. Peso, I've got a lot of hurt patients back here. Hurry. <gasps> There's more of them in here. Peso, we found them covered in rubbish. They need your help. Tweak, clear out your workshop. We'll need that space for an emergency room. You got it, Peso. Good work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, twas awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Oh, Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip in the morning. And we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them. Prepare to plunge! That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast, then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. Wasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashie and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. <laughs> but why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Already in the launch bay? Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashie, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! Look at all that rubbish! With these nets, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. But, Captain, what do we do with the rubbish once we scoop it up? Don't worry about that, Dashie. We'll put the rubbish into this octobin. And then take it back to the octopod to recycle. Mm. Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts, we're making good progress. I'd better see how things are going back at the octopod. Say ah, uh, ah, uh, looks good. 
Peso, come in, Peso. How are your patients? Well, Captain, I'd say the pelicans are healing nicely. Excellent. Ooh. Peso, what's that noise? Hmm, looks like there's another patch of something heading your way. Hmm, more rubbish, maybe. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. <laughs> Something's tickling me toes. <laughs> it's not more rubbish. Huh? It's a huge school of fish. Uh-oh. Whenever there's a school of fish this big, there's bound to be a, yeah! a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Attention, swordfish. There's rubbish in the water. It's not safe to eat here. <gasps> <laughs> They're all too hungry to listen. In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we're surrounded. Captain, come in, Captain. What's going on up there? We're caught in the middle of a... Whoa! Feeding frenzy. It's making the clean-up a little tricky, and we... Captain! Captain! Oh, no. I have to help them. Listen, Doc, we pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? Ready! They're coming from every direction. There's got to be a whoa, way out of here. Captain, jump on! Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. Thanks for the lift, Pelicans. Good to see you're feeling better. Now, what do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys, in and out fast. Get ready, Octonauts. When the pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can. Prepare to plunge! of it, Captain. Ha! Huh. Good work, everyone. Hold on. Where's Peso? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good to go. Au revoir. That's funny. The swordfish are leaving. The feeding frenzy must be over. Flippity flippers! There he is! Are you all right in there, Peso? I'm fine, Captain. That was a close one. Thanks, old Charlie. No worry, Peso. Good work, everyone. Pelicans, we couldn't have done it without you. Aye, after everything you did for us, it was the least we could do. All right, mateys, who's up for a little fishing? Hooray! Goodbye! 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 Goodbye. 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 Prepare to plunge! <laughs> The 
dreaded fang teeth snapper started heading straight for me, snapping its terrible teeth. Snap, snap, snap. Yow! Isn't that right, Captain? Captain? Quasi. Hey, so, come and take a look at this. What are those things? Dumping jellyfish. They're a big problem. Each one is a seed from a red mangrove tree. The seeds fall from the trees and take root in the seabed along the coast. So, what's the big problem, matey? These seeds have drifted too far out to sea. They can't grow in water this deep. And if they don't grow, they won't become part of the mangrove forest, which helps protect the coastline. In that case, we'd better do something. Don't worry, Captain. I've got this one covered. I'll just gather up the seeds and replant them. Hmm. Sounds like a big job. You might need some help. Shiny! Attention, Vegemals. Please meet Shellington in the launch bay. And bring your gardening tools. Shiny! All right, Tunic, let's gather up these mangrove seeds. Activate the gut vacuum. More like it. All right, Captain. We're off to the mangrove forest to plant these seeds. Good luck, Shellington. Let us know if you need any help. Don't worry, Captain. We'll have this done in a jiffy. That shiny. Water's getting too shallow for the gup. We'll have to swim from here. <laughs> All right, vegetables, take a seed, make a hole, and push the tip into the ground. There you go. Easy, isn't it? Now let's plant some more. <laughs> Come in, Shellington. How's the planting going? Oh, we're making good progress, Captain. As I said, we've got this completely under control. Right, Tunip? Tunip? Uh, Captain, I think we may have a wee bit of a problem. What is it, Shellington? The Vegemals. They've disappeared. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have an emergency. The Vegemals have gone missing. Oh, oh my! They must have gone into the mangrove forest. But why? I don't know, but we're going to help you find them. Quasi, Peso, to the gup sea. Tweet, open the octo hatch. You got it, Cap. Captain, the Vegemals must have gone in here. And look what they left behind. What creature makes a bite like this? Yeah, looks like the bite of a fine tooth snapper. Whatever it is, we'd better be careful. like all the Vegemals are safe and sound. But what were they doing hiding in here? <laughs> they were attacked by something fast moving with big sharp teeth. What the fuck? I knew it! Fang Tooth Snapper, show yourself! Whoa, easy, Quasi. 
Everyone, wait here while I take a look around. Hmm, it looks like the coast is clear. Oh, good, because we still have a few more mangrove seeds to plant. <laughs> Come on, Vegemals. <laughs> Barracudas! Everyone, back into the mangrove forest. <laughs> Those barracudas came out of nowhere. Of course. Barracudas really like shiny things, like the Vegemals' tools. They must think they're food. <coughs> Don't worry, Tunip. They shouldn't follow us in here. Barracudas like to stay in deeper water. Can we just wait for them to go away? No. Barracudas are very patient. They can wait a long, long time for their food. Attention, barracudas! Hello, what is it? Please, stop attacking us so we can plant our mangrove seeds. We'd like to, believe me, but those shiny things just look so delicious. Yes, we go crazy when we see them. We can't help it. OK, but this is just a gardening tool. It's not food. Shiny things! Ah. Oh. They're just too hungry to listen. We'll have to distract the barracudas while the Vegemals finish the planting. Everyone in position. Oh, Aye, yeah, Captain. Captain. Good. Vegemals, start planting on my count. One, two, three. <laughs> Shiny. Wazzy, go. Right they go. That's your cue, Peso. Hey, look at this. Shiny. This way. Shiny. Shiny. You're up next, Shellington. Hey, up Shiny. here. Hey, Barracudas, over here. Shiny. Shiny. That's it. We just have to keep them busy until the vegetables are finished planting. Captain. Uh, I can't keep this up much longer. Super! Super! <sighs> Shiny! Vegemals, look out! <laughs> oh, I didn't think the Barracudas would follow the Vegemals into the mangrove forest. They must be really hungry. Captain, how are we going to get them and their tools back to the GARP? Yeah. As soon as they get back in the water, the barracudas will attack them. Huh. Then we'll need to find some way to keep the Vegemals above water. Captain, mangrove trees prop themselves up above the water using special roots. Stilt roots. Stilt roots. Hmm. Hang on, Vegemals. We're coming for you. Ready now. Take it nice and easy. Oh, oh. Whoops. Whoa. You can do it, Peso. Shiver the whiskers. That was a close call. This way, everyone. Oh, whoa! Uh, gotcha. <laughs> now, let's get out of here. Just think, one day all those seeds we planted will grow into new mangrove trees. <gasps> Shiny! <gasps> the barracudas! They followed us home! Don't worry, Tunip has this one covered. I'm loving these sparkly seaweed sprinkles you got, Tunip. Now load them into the snack shooter. Oh. So long, barracudas! Enjoy the fish biscuits! Shiny! Attention, 
creatures. The ocean current is extra strong today, so please be careful and find a safe place to go. Do you need some help getting to safety? No, I'm moving. Should be there by Thursday. Here, let me help you. Oh, I'm early. Thanks, Octonauts. Ahoy, friend! Did you hear the warning? Can't understand you, matey. Why are you talking like that? All I heard was yaddy daddy baddy bay. Can you speak a bit slower, please? I said I'm Jimmy the Jarfish, and I'm going home to my burrow, which is right there, and my mouth is full of eggs! Oh, I dropped my eggs! That's Jerry. And Jojo. Oh, and little Janie. Mm -hmm. Looks just like a mother. Go. Here, get this one. Last one. Ah! Oh, the current! Ah! Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. The current swept his eggs away. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll find your eggs. Every last one of them. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the current has carried away ten of the jawfish's eggs. Our mission is to find them and return them to their father's mouth. Mouth? Why would anybody keep eggs in their mouth? Jawfish dads are mouth brooders, Tweak, which means that they protect their eggs by keeping them in their mouths until they hatch. See? The ocean can be a very dangerous place for a tiny egg. There are a lot of fish who might like to eat them. Then we'll have to find the eggs right away. Dashi, can you track the path of the current? Activating current tracker. The current has traveled along these cliffs, over these geysers, and through this rocky trench. Then that's where we'll find the eggs. Here's the plan. Shellington, you stay with the jawfish at his burrow. Yes, Captain. Dashi, you stay here and keep track of the current. Quasi, Peso and I will split up and search for the eggs. <laughs> yes, Tunip, you can help look for the eggs too. <laughs> Tweak, those eggs are small and delicate. We'll need... Something to collect them in? I've got just the thing, Cap. Egg backs! These will suck the eggs right up and keep them safe until you get them back to the jawfish. I also changed your air tanks into special booster packs. Just press this button and you'll get a boost of speed to help you swim against the current. Good work. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Peso, you search along the cliffs. Got it. And Quasi, you search by the geezers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll search the rocky trench. Octonauts, let's do this. Hmm. These are the cliffs. And that is an egg. There you are, nice and safe. Oh, cute egg. Kind of looks like that one. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, that was easy. Any others around? There's one. That manta ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Flippers down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, Manta Ray. You'll have to snack on something else. That's not very nice. Let's get you back to your dad. <laughs> you found an egg, Tunip. Let's see. <laughs> oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine, and Judith. <laughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa! <laughs> Hello, mateys. Captain, I 
Bird Rescue 2 eggs. Good work, Quasi. And I'm about to snag a third. Find one this time. Oh, no, that's a seashell. <coughs> Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa! So it might get tricky. Oops, close. Whoa! Nearly. Whoa! Bingo! Time to take you home. Three more eggs, safe and sound. Oh, uh -huh. Nine down, still one to go. It's Jimmy Junior, named after his father. A brave little egg with a sense of adventure. He's out there somewhere. Dashy, come in. Yes, Captain. We've searched the cliffs, the geezers, and the trench, but there's still one egg missing. His name is Jimmy Junior. The last egg could still be caught up in the current, which has moved past the rocky trench and is heading into open water. Thanks, Dashy. Quasi, Peso, if we don't find that egg soon, it could be lost for good. Let's move. Jimmy Junior, up ahead. Activate egg vax. Too strong for the egg vax. We'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Hold this. <laughs> Whoa, slippery. Get it. I got it. Now I've got you. Ah! Lemon sharks. I can handle this one, Captain. <laughs> Careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. Hey, sir, take Jimmy Jr. <laughs> Snack time, man. Yeah, enjoy. Quasi, what do you do? Don't worry, Jimmy Junior is safe and sound. Phew. Hey, it's empty. Let's get him. See you later, Shockies. We proudly return with the one and only. Jimmy Junior! <laughs> oh no, I will be no! I, I had him in my paw. I, he must have slipped out somewhere. I, I... That's seaweed. <laughs> That's a clam. <laughs> That's an egg. <laughs> That's an egg! Junip, you found Jimmy Junior! Who's <laughs> 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 uh, We found all ten. Great job, Octo. Shellington, what did he say? He said, my eggs are hatching. Hooray! Oh, wow, look! Yeah. You're a little daredevil, aren't you? Thanks, Jimmy Junior. A chip off the old block. Wow, oh, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Still, Puffy. Yow! 
Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike. But it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Yeah! <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> hey, my spike is starting to feel bitter. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. Bye. There he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just um. Whale shark! Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours! Yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. <laughs> and we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. <laughs> Puffy! Yeah! Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Cap. Whoa! <laughs> Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You've got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's going to do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery tongue and grab! <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's... Story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. 
when the whale shark opens his mouth. I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cuckoo! Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah! You can do it, Peso. <sighs> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. <laughs> If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! Puffy! I saw! He's going through the sponge wall! That must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. <laughs> the whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> I can't quite reach his tail. <laughs> you can if you hold on to me. Gotcha! to watch out for really big fish. I'll keep an eye and an eye out for them. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> fascinating. Sea stars and snails and red rock crabs. 
Red rock crabs don't live in this part of the ocean. It's too cold for them. I wonder how they got here. Hello, I'm Shellington. I'm an octopus. Stay back. <gasps> oh. Oh. Impressive. I knew red rock crabs were quick, but I didn't realize they were that quick. There's no need to be frightened. I just want to... This way, Chooks! I'm here to help. You'll never catch us! I, uh... Through his legs, Chooks! <laughs> just can't stand this place. It's cold, there's nothing to eat, and now some big furry thing's chasing after us! Captain! Come in, Captain! Shellington, how are you getting on exploring that island? Well, Captain, there's a bit of a mystery. I found some red rock crabs, but they don't belong here. This island is much too cold for them, and there's not enough food. They won't last long here. I'm going to need help rounding them up and taking them back where they belong. Understood. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. We've got a problem with some red rock crabs on an island where they don't belong. I don't know how they got here, but we need to take them back to their home in the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos are a long way from here. Can we just load them into the garbs? No, that's the tricky part. They're very hard to catch. Every time I try to get close, they run away. Shellington, we're on our way. All right, everyone, let's take this nice and easy. These crabs are a long way from home, and they're probably a bit scared. Hey, up. It's another of those furry things. Don't worry, little crabs. It's time to come with me. Aha! I'm Peso, and I'm soaking wet. I, I forgot to tell you, Peso. They squirt water when they feel threatened. Leave us alone. Oh! I'll get my brother onto you. I get away. Oh. Captain, we've been trying to catch the crabs all evening, and we haven't caught a single one. Aye, these little mateys are quicker than I thought. It's getting dark. We'll have to try again tomorrow with the whole crew. Good morning, Octonauts. Everyone ready for a bit of crab catching? Aye, aye. Yes, ready. Captain. We'll round them up faster and you can see a bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got, Got it. it. This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tunip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. Super, super! Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Sounds like Tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers. It's the marine iguanas. <laughs> Octonauts. Funny running into you here. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Biggie, Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First, red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell him, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. 
We drifted for days, and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was angry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here, on this little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water is too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been, uh, borrowing your little snacks. Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home. Just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. Ah, I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. Oh, so. Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, so hungry. Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. I believe that's what's called symbiosis. <laughs> yes, that's right. Watch. <laughs> oh, oh, they kind of tickles. All right, everyone. Now that they're distracted... <gasps> it's those furry guys again. Octonauts, stay in formation. Run for your lives! <laughs> They'll see. Well, what are we waiting for? No, Quasi. It's too dangerous. Not for a marine iguana. Our claws give us special grip. Watch. If only we had claws like that. Let me see those claws again. Knock yourself out. Mm. You know what, Peso? I think I might be able to make a song. Tweak, these are a great invention. Thanks, Cap. I call them climbing claws. Everyone stay close and follow me. We need to herd the crabs up to the top of the cliff. We're ready for them, Captain. They'll be safe in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, Captain. Just a little further. Steady. Keep moving forward, Octonauts. What are you furry things doing to my friends? Don't worry. We just want to take you back to your home. Take us back home? Well, why didn't you say so? Uh, why'd you hitch a ride? Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, good. Ah, two! Oh, oh no! Ah, two! Help! Octonauts, form a chain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> everyone. Thanks for helping us, Chuck. We was just a bit scared before, being so far from home. No problem. But we couldn't have done it without the iguanas. Oh, don't mention it. Now, what do you say we go home? I say, let's go, Chucks. Octonauts, to the Galapagos. Here we are, the Galapagos Islands. Hey, everybody, we're home. And just in time, too. I could really do with a snack. Me, too. Come on. That's nice, that. That's it. Come on out. Dashy, oh. come in, Dashy. <laughs> 
How's the photo assignment going? Well, I've taken some good shots. But if I want one of my photos on the cover of National Geographic, I need a really great shot. <gasps> Captain, I have to call you back. Manta rays. Incredible. into you like that. I just... Ouch! Are you all right? No. I... I think I scratched my fin. Ow! Sorry about Muriel here. For a manta ray, she's not very good at leaping. For a manta ray, she's not very good at anything. Oh, ha, ha. Very funny. Don't mind them. They're just my remora fish. Most of us manta rays have them. They ride around with me everywhere. Ow! You better come with me, Muriel. I know just the person who can make your fin feel better. Please do make her better, Doctor. Muriel may be clumsy, but she is our friend. Don't worry, Muriel. Your fin just needs a little slime. Slime? What you need slime for? Manta Ray's skin is protected by a layer of slime. Some of Muriel's got scratched off when she crashed into Dashi. There. Good as new. Thanks. Now, uh, got to go. I need to catch up with the other manta rays. They know the way. The way? The way to what? Every so often, we manta rays have a big feast in a special place. The secret manta ray feeding ground. I reckon nobody's ever photographed that before. How do we get there, Muriel? Um... <laughs> if you find out, be sure to tell Muriel. It's so secret, even she doesn't know where it is. Uh, I guess you could say I've never actually been there, myself, personally. <laughs> but I have to get there soon or I'll miss the big feast. In that case, we'd better help you find it. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission is to help Muriel find the secret manta ray feeding ground. Muriel, do you have any idea where it may be? Well, there is an old manta ray rhyme about it. Uh, follow the giant swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. Hmm? Hmm. Dashi, let's see the map. Ah, I don't see any rivers or swirling things on the map. Maybe we're looking at the wrong map. Let's check the storm tracker. There. That storm looks like a giant swirling thing. And we're going to follow it. Quasi, peso, dashi, into the guppe. We'd better hurry. The big feast doesn't last long. One swirling storm straight ahead. Oh, there it is! The swirling thing! Come along, everyone. Let's go! to tow her out somehow. Quasi, can you? I'm coming for you, Muriel! Wait, don't touch her. You'll scratch off her slime. You need to make your paws soft and slimy first. I slime gloves. You take one fin, I'll take the other. <laughs> Sail, Muriel. I think we finally found something you're good at. Oh, is everyone okay? We're fine, Captain. But where are we? That storm pulled us pretty far out to sea. 
There's nothing around for miles. Oh no, we're lost. <gasps> now we'll never find the secret feeding ground. Uh, Muriel, what's that you're eating? Oh, just some krill. It's what we mantas eat. There'll be tons of krill at the big feast. Something's pulling the krill away. It could be a clue. Everyone, follow those krill. We'll have to come back for the cup A later. Look! They're being sucked into that current. Of course. A current is like a river of fast-moving water in the ocean. Follow the great big swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. This must be it. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Look, more krill. We must be getting close. Aye, we are getting close. To that giant breeze. Flappity flippers. The current's too strong to swim out of. Uh, we're going to crash. Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation. Shiver me whiskers. A hidden lagoon. The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means... This must be it! The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. It's like a manta ray whirlpool. That's how we manta rays eat when we all get together. Now these are some good shots. Ugh. My camera! Yeah, it's going too fast. Here, hop on, chaps. Now let's get that camera. <laughs> Almost have it. Oh. Look out! Careful where you're going. Oh dear, leave it to Muriel. This is starting to get a little rough. We need to hurry. <gasps> Dashi, are you okay? I'm fine, but we have to help the others. What about your camera? I'll leave it. My friends come first. <laughs> Now for Quasi and Peso. Yeah. Yow. Peso, Quasi, grab on. <laughs> grab on? Grab on to what? Ah! No! No! Should have seen that coming. Now let's get out of here. The only way out is up. Muriel, we have to leap over the reef. Uh, I'm not very good at leaping. We'll help you. First, you've got to dive down to build up speed. Okay, here goes. Now, up to the surface, fast. <laughs> Muriel, what's the matter? I just thought we might like a picture or two. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've got an idea for a great one. Here we go. Muriel? I guess I'm not so bad at leaping after all. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, chaps. Now that's a photo fit for the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Muriel. Did you get Muriel's good side? That's the side I'm on. No, that's the side I'm on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!
straight for us, Cap. Octonauts, hold on. Something is about to hit us. Dashy. Peso. Shellington. Inkling. Vegemals. Brace yourselves. What? Cap, you hear that? It's coming from outside the octopod. <laughs> <laughs> huh. The screen is blank. We've lost the radar. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Captain, what's going on? The radar isn't working. Tweak, Quasi, let's go outside and work out what's happened. The dish must be broken. I'll have it fixed faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Peso, open the octo hatch. Yes, right away, Captain. The radar dish isn't broken. It's gone. The thief must have stolen it. We have to get it back. I reckon that scurvy thief is around here somewhere. I'll find him with me spyglass. Ah, seaweed! <sighs> yeah. Oh, now I can't see a thing. Here, use my binoculars to look for anything unusual. Hi, Captain. Tweak, come with me. We'll search the other side of the octopod. Glass since me pirate days. The thief couldn't have gone far. Aha! A trail! <laughs> ah, we've lost the trail. Whoa! I bet there's a lot of places in this reef for a thief to hide. I'll look under every rock until I get my spyglass back. Hold on, Quasi. This thief is sneaky. So we'll have to be sneakier. If he sees us coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. We're going after the thief, but we don't want him to be able to see the Gup A. How can you help us, Tweak? I've got just the thing. Camouflage. Push that button, Captain. Oh! Camouflage helps the gup look like the rest of the ocean, so no one will see you. We'll look just like the rocks and the seaweed. And if you need even more camouflage, press that. Understood. Thanks, Tweak. Quasi and Peso, prepare to launch. Captain, I'm fully prepared for any emergency. Yeah. Tweak, open the octahash. Right away, Cap. The trail disappears under that rock. Let's keep a lookout. The thief has to be around here somewhere. Whoa! That plant just took a walk. Over there. Look! Follow that plant! He's got my spyglass! Up ahead! Where did it go? Octonauts, let's investigate. Quasi. You go this way. Peso, you check that way. An injured anemone. Oh, 
let me bandage that for you. Good as new. Oh no, my bandages. What is it, Peso? Those are special bandages for wrapping tentacles. I've got to get them back. The thief strikes again. But we're not giving up. The spyglass, the radar dish, and the bandages. Look! I don't see anything. On the rock. <gasps> but I know I saw them. How could they just disappear? Captain, there's only one explanation. This place is haunted by a ghost pirate. A ghost pirate can make himself and anything he steals invisible. He sneaks up on you, just like... Growl! Just like that. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a ghost pirate. A lot of things have, you know, disappeared. And every time we chase after the thief, he vanishes. Whatever it is, instead of us chasing him, let's make him come to us. We'll put something out for the thief to steal. When he comes near us, the alarm will sound, and then... We'll get him! How about this? Perfect. Now we wait. Captain, are you sure he won't see us? Good question, Peso. Time for extra camouflage. <laughs> Steal that seaweed moustache from under our noses. Ha! We found the thief! Here he is under all our equipment! Now, uh, oh! <laughs> Easy there, fella. Just return the things that you stole from us. That's all we ask. I didn't steal anything. Then how do you explain the fact that our equipment is attached to your shell? I'm a decorator crab. A decorator crab? Yeah, a decorator crab. I attach things to my shell for camouflage so nobody can see me. Especially sharks. That radar dish belongs on the octopod. The spyglass belongs to Quasi. And the bandages are pesos. I didn't know they belonged to anybody. I, I was just trying to blend in, that's all. I put them on, I take them off. It's no problem. Thank you. Ah, guess I have to find some new things to cover my shell. You know, there is something we can let you keep. This seaweed moustache will help you stay camouflaged. <laughs> Thanks. A gift to you from the Octonauts. Yeah! <laughs> The radar's fixed. Good work, Twig. Thanks, Cap. I made one other little change out here. Octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Oh. 
Octonaut, we need to. Yeah! Fascinating. That's a type of whale called an orca. Look, there's another. And another. And another. Remarkable. We've attracted an entire pod. What's a pod, Professor? It's a group of orcas, Peso. The pod helps each other through thick and thin, rather like the octonauts. We've got to bump him back! Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, Orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. <coughs> oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Want to race? Ah! Oh. Okay! <laughs> hey, you didn't say go! Heading straight for the beach. Oh my, that's not a good place for an orca. Maybe I can stop him before he gets there. can have a head start next time, but I'll still win. <laughs> uh, uh, just let me get turned around here. Uh, give me a push, will you? Aye. Uh, yow! <laughs> Quasi, are you all right? Aye, Captain, but I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the Vegimals. <laughs> the orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, we'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my pod calling to me.
Oh, no. All of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Orcas, stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're gonna need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> you don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! It's getting hotter and hotter. Octonauts, grab the ropes. Hmm. Ready to test, Cap. Octonauts, take your positions. On my signal. One, two, three, pull! Ow! Stop, stop! Oh, that really hurts. Captain, I don't think it's enough to pull him. Now, if we could get the ropes under him, we could lift him up. Hmm. We need a way to tunnel under the sand with the ropes. I think I know who can help us. Attention, crabs! You crabs have a special ability to tunnel under the sand. Will you use it now to help the orca? No, he got himself into this. He can't get himself out. Ah! Ah! Let me help you. There you go. Well, that was uh, really quite helpful. Thank you. So, are you with us? <laughs> Okay, sideways, march! Octonauts, let's do this! One, two, three, four! Again, one, two, three, four! <laughs> one, two, three, four! Ah, it's working! Keep pulling! Captain, our pod is grateful to you and your pod. You can always count on the Octonauts to help. Remember to call on us if we can ever do anything for the Octonauts. Shall we practice our special signal? <laughs> Goodbye, Orca friends. Goodbye, Captain. Until we meet again. Captain, 
There's... outside. I saw a... <gasps> What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big. I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like... Whoa. Captain, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of... whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale, but whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap! That scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast. Strange heat patterns are coming from that pink-coloured reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. Then we'd better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. <gasps> ah. Oh. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> <gasps> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, 
Mushroom coral mucus. Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino. It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. A school of squid! We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more, and finished. Ha! <laughs> a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect! Is the gut bee ready to go, Tweak? Yep. I've put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. No! Press this, and you'll be bounced out of the gup beef faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. No! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the gup. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, hi, me hearty. Now open the octo hatch! If you don't turn off the engine first, 
But we will drive away without you. We've got it. Now let's go. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite cup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the gut B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the gut finder. It should show us where the gut B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the Gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the Gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the Gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gut sea ready, Twig? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! We open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh, Quasi? Oh. Let's go, Shellington. <laughs> Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way! Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Hold on! That must be the gut bee! Come back here! Hey, what did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. 
Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Aye, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> yeah! Uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon, and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the Guppy. I'm coming for you, Guppy! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish! Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No. He mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gop bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? You! Yeah, you! <laughs> here, over here. Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me. Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here. Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp. <laughs> it's... it's... The gut bee! Yeah! Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> <laughs> they do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gup bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> it's good to be back in my favourite gup. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> Nothing tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. I'll get this one for you, me hearty. These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweet. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. Ah, <sighs> that's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> Captain, I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because uh, because I need to. Um... Let me guess. 
Practice your driving skills. Ah, oh, that's it. Uh, practice my driving skills. <laughs> It's nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh. He must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find out. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut B near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak. We'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. First, we'll record his sounds and then we'll play it while we search. And his mummy will recognize the special sound. Ready, set, whistle! Come here, little matey. Don't be afraid. He likes you, Quasi. Why don't you try? Um, give us a nice whistle now. Perfect. We've got our recording for the search. Shellington, Dashy, into the Gup E. Peso, into the Gup A with me. We'll spread out and search for the dolphin's mother. And Quasi, you stay here and babysit. I can. Oh, what? Did you say stay here and babysit? Well, you're the best one for the job, Quasi. Me? A babysitter? Yes. The baby dolphin really seems to like you. Keep a close eye on him. But, Captain, I... Quasi, open the octo hatch. Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. Don't worry, little matey. They'll find your mother. All we have to do is wait. <sighs> Waiting's not very exciting, is it? <gasps> Come on, matey. We're going outside to play. This looks like a good place. Well, go ahead now. Play. But don't go far, little matey. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, you got me again. I see, Shell. You want to play fetch, do you? Mighty fast little dolphin. <laughs> Try again. <coughs> what is it, little matey? <coughs> Careful, mate. 
matey. Those lobster claws can really pinch. Yeah. Go snap somewhere else. Okay. Here you go, little dolphin. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's race to the other side of the rocks, eh? Ready, set, go! Ah, dolphins. Excuse me, do you recognise this sound? Nope, uh, doesn't sound familiar, but earlier today we saw some other dolphins back that way. Maybe they'll know the sound. Thanks. I hope we can find them, Captain. Never heard that whistle before, I'm afraid. Oh. But I did see a dolphin looking for her baby a few minutes ago. She was on the other side of that reef. Oh, thanks. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. Captain, we have a lead on the mother dolphin. She's on the other side of the reef. Good work, Octonauts. Let's go. Yow! At a dolphin. Now try this. Where'd he go? Oh no, where is he? Little matey, come back to Quasi! Where are you? Look, over there. Um, excuse me, is this the sound of your baby? Yes, it is. I've been looking everywhere for him. Do you know where he is? We'll take you to him. Follow our slipstream. Oh, thank goodness. Barnacles to Quasi. We found the baby dolphin's mother and we're on our way back to the octopod. Uh, great. Me and the baby will be right here waiting for you when you get back. Barnacles out. Oh, this is terrible. I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> Lunch is served. Yeah! Ah! Oh. oh, no, lunch is cancelled. <sighs> He's gone, and you're safe. You can't just go off on your own like that. Stay close to me, matey. to see you. Thank you for keeping my baby safe. Just doing my job as an octonaut and a babysitter. Come on, it's time for us to go. Go on with your mum now. For me? Thanks, little matey. Goodbye. And thank you. Good work, Octonauts. And especially you, Quasi. Thanks, Captain. <sighs> this belongs with me other treasures. I'll remember you always, little matey. I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are, the Coral Reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the Coral Reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. 
What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shillington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. <gasps> Peso, you'd better take a look at this. Oh, no. The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso! Let's go. Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now, I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There! That's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now, everybody got it? Got, got it! Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh, spiky sea urchin. <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? hm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Ah! Jumping jellyfish. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers. Cool. You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Bye, 
barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They... Ooh, what's this? <laughs> they love to play with each other. <sighs> and make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose! <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose! Sponge nose, sponge nose! Hmm, <laughs> 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 there! Oh. Ah. Ah. oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins! We have very important work to do. If you could please just... Hey! <laughs> Bet you can't catch me! Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Uh, oh! Whoa! Uh, easy now! I just want to, um... See how long you can hold on! Hey! Whoa! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece! Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one! Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go. Ready, everybody? Ready. 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 With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. And I can find five pieces of coral before you find one. Ah, you're on, Maisie. Mm. Another healthy one. Thank you. That's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There, we're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Hooray! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> Full speed ahead, Dashy. I'm on it, Captain. like it. Are we almost there, Cap? Don't worry, Tweak. We'll be there in no time. Okay, Cap. You must be really excited to see Sandy. I sure am, Peso. Sandy the sea turtle is one of my best friends, and I don't get to see her very often. Sandy always swims through these waters this time of year. Then it's lucky that we're passing by. Sandy should be just on the other side of this canyon. I just hope we get there in time to see her. We'll be there faster than you can say, muncher, buncher. Uh, how does it go? Buncher, munchy, crunchy. Oh. What was that? Ah! 
Captain, the octopod is losing electrical power. I can't control the ship. Let's switch to steering wheel. Quasi, peso, totem pole. Hi, Hi Captain. Hang on, everyone. This could get bumpy. Flippers, we're heading straight for the canyon. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Everyone okay? Sure thing. Hey, okay, Captain. Shiver me, whiskers. That was a close one, Captain. It's not over yet. The electricity's out, and we're right on the edge of a deep canyon. And we're already late for meeting up with Sandy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Uh, sorry, Kip. No electricity, no octo alert. Hmm. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Tunip. Sound the octo alert, vegetable style. That's more like it. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the octopod has crashed. It seems to have lost all electrical power. I think I found the problem, Cap. See that? Red means that the octopod's battery is out of electricity. And without electricity... The octopod won't work. Don't worry, Tweak. I'm just worried that by the time it's fixed, it'll be too late to meet up with Sandy. Can't you just go out to meet her in one of the gups? The crash jammed the octa hatch. I can't get it open wide enough to take the gups out. We'd better check to see if the ship is damaged on the outside. Quasi, Peso, activate helmets. Let's go. This is not a good place for the octopod to be. It could fall over the canyon at any minute. We'd better tie it down. That should hold it for a while. Ah, nothing to worry about. The octopod's as secure as... Yeah! Huh, what's the big idea, stepping on my tail like that? First this big orange thing drops out of the sky and now these guys are just walking all over me while I'm resting on the sand. It makes me so mad I could... <laughs> Easy now, we didn't mean to startle you. We were on our way to visit a friend when our ship crashed. Oh, all right. Whew, listen, I'm really sorry about that. I'm usually a pretty friendly, go with the flow kind of guy, but sometimes I just get a little worked up and then... Yeah, yeah, then you zap. But how do you do it? I am a torpedo ray, an electric torpedo ray, but you can call me Ray for short. An electric torpedo ray? That's right. I have a special part inside me that makes electricity, which lets me zap things. The one I gave you was just a little warning zap. Some warning. But I can make big zaps of electricity too. Hmm, could you show us how you make one of your big zaps? I sure hope this works. I might just get to see Sandy after all. Now, Ray, if you just make one of your nice big zaps, the electricity will go through the wire, recharge the battery, and give power to the octopod. Ready? Ready! All stand clear. Electricity is dangerous. <laughs> oh, uh, must be a little nervous. Let me try that again. Take your time. OK, here I go. Nothing to it. Huh? Uh, well, I guess I can only make really big zaps when something scares me or when I'm eating. Oh, yum! Oh, it's working! Mmm, oh, nice and crunchy. 
We torpedo rays always zap our food before we eat it. Oh, still not enough electricity, I guess. Sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, Ray. I was just really looking forward to seeing my friend. Hey, listen, I've got some friends too. Other electric torpedo rays. Maybe they can help. If one torpedo ray can make enough electricity to light up one room... A bunch of torpedo rays might be able to light up the whole octopod. And they do seem to like the Vegemal's fish biscuits. Keep it coming, Tunip. Come on, guys. Dinner is served. Nice and crunchy. And these fish biscuits taste great toasted. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I'm starving. Nice and crunchy. It's working. The electricity from their zapping is going through the wire right into the octopod. Oh, yeah. Great. Oh, wow. Almost there. Just a few more zaps. I knew we could do that. Oh, hey, watch it, man. That watch was my good shopping. Watch it, will ya? Hey, Ray, get out of my way, man. Hey, easy, guys. Get out of it. The octopod's going to fall over the edge. Hey, watch out, Torpedo rays, look out. Oh. Sorry. I've got to get to the controls. <laughs> Looks like you could use a lift. <gasps> Sandy! Nice to see you again, Sandy. Hop on. Aim for the octo hatch. Got it. You have to jump for it! Uh, ah. <laughs> A little polar bat strength! Hey! Octonauts! The octopod is back in action. Yeah! 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 Good to see you, Tweak. You too, Sandy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> I heard all the commotion from the other side of the canyon, so I swam over to check it out. Just in time, too. I'm glad everybody's okay. Fish biscuits, Sandy. Here, let me zap that for you. <laughs> nice and crunchy. <laughs> Thanks for coming all this way just to see me. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Uh, not too much trouble, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>